I'm, I'm like running so late as usual. I'm going to pick up Michelle right now because we're going to an event and then we have the radio later. Allie, Allie's normally the one who does the radio, but because she's away, I said I would do it with Michelle. We're on the millennial panel on the radio, but I really have to get going because I'm running behind. I'm wearing this dress with my um, Zara leopard print heels. My hair, I tried straightening it and I was like, uh-uh, it's not for me. I'm not a straight hair kind of gal. Anyways, I really gotta get going, but I'm gonna take you to the event with us because I think that'll be fun. It's worth the event with Michelle. Thank you. I was curious, right? Good. Okay, so that event lasted five seconds for us. Successful. Um, we had a drink and we had some food. had some food, but we're starving and not down for like little finger foods. So now I'm gonna change into my running shoes and we're gonna go walk and eat somewhere. And this is old Montreal for everyone who's not aware. It looks like Paris. It does. Well, this area. Yeah. <laughs> and this Ooh, it's good. Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. What was it again? Prosecco? Do you want to taste it? This is my drink. So we have sashimi and gyoza. Thanks. So this is the shrimp with the, what did she say? Sashimi. 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 I don't know, I just like, I notice a huge difference and I do read a lot, but I don't read books that kind of challenge me or make me think. In my romance novels, like I just literally read and read and read. I read like, I think in the like last month, I think I read the nine books, but they weren't books that, like I said, that challenged me. So I tried reading books on my phone because that's where I read all my um, romance books. Just because it's easy, I have it with me at all times. I don't need to carry around a whole book, but I don't like reading these types of books on my phone so i went to chapters and i got a few books i actually got four books i spent almost a hundred dollars on books which is crazy the first book i got is from brene brown this is the first one i'm reading it's called daring greatly i actually watched her ted talk and then i watched her netflix special and she's the first person or she is the person who made me realize that i have vulnerability issues it's like i really really suggest listening to her ted talk and watching her netflix special just because she made me realize a lot of things that i didn't realize before so far i'm on page 25 and then i get asked a lot about business books that i am reading i haven't really been reading that many business books um just because I, I used to read a lot like I feel like I used to read a lot of business books when I was in business school and well obviously but like on my spare time um, so I picked up Rich Dad Poor Dad I already listened to this on audible but I want to read it I don't know it was really good I listened to the whole book but I feel like for me I have to actually like see the words read it oh I got this tank top about winners this cute little neon tank top it was like six dollars and then i got this book called girl wash your face by rachel hollis i've seen this on so many best-selling book lists so i wanted to pick it up have you read it if you've read any of these let me know i want to know your thoughts and opinions and then actually this one is called i will teach you to be rich by ramit sethi i'm not really too sure how to say that uh this also i started listening to on audible and it was really good. I think I got to chapter six, but like I said, I want to have it like in a hard copy and not on Audible. I love Audible. I listen to Audibles all the time. Right now I'm listening to Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen and Georgia um, because my favorite murder is my favorite podcast along with Morning Toast and I listen to them all. All right guys, so it's Monday. Today I'm beginning my 
plans for vacation. I leave on Saturday. I need to get everything done, packed, videos filmed, orders done. I'm stressed. I, I just have a lot to get done before I leave. Um, but I'm so excited to go on vacation. So I want to do groceries today. I'll show you guys what I got. I got these little... These are my favorite guacamole little packets. Some um, Ezekiel English muffins. I got some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Blackberries. I got some broccoli for dinner. I'm gonna have chicken and broccoli. Some peppers for my peppers from my last what I eat in a day video. I got bananas, mozzarella for my English muffin little pizzas with the this marinara sauce. It's so good. I got yogurt. I got hummus. This is my favorite hummus, Greek olives. Peanut butter because I just finished it. I got halloumi cheese because I really like this with grilled chicken. This is like my guilty pleasure, the cereal right here. Ooh, I love it so much. I got a kombucha. I got, oh, these are my favorite egg things you guys know already. I'm so in love, obsessed. They're just so easy. And then I got coffee cream because I haven't had coffee cream in like what feels like years and I'm dying. I'm going to eat this and then I have the Signe photo shoot for our newest collection at 2 o'clock. We're going to take product shots. I had one of those egg things and now I'm having yogurt with blackberries, bananas, and a little bit of that cereal. And it's actually really good. I've never put the cereal in yogurt before. We're at our Signe shoot for our next collection and we ordered Halo. Well, we had to split the cost of shipping because it was a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, it's really cute. Oh, look at our, and then look at Tony's. That is so cute. Right, what perfume are you wearing? Um, Moschino. It smells really good. Thanks. Maybe they have big paint. I really like the packaging. Good job, Toffee. We're taking the pics. This is one of them. Piece of Dallas, uncut. Nikki Cam. Oh. Nikki, how do you feel after taking Halo Top? Halo Top? <laughs> <laughs> Halo, Halo Beauty. Hi guys, so it is Tuesday morning. I just went to the gym. I went to an 8 a.m. workout class. I don't normally work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but I'm gonna try to work out every day this week. I caved and I had McDonald's last night. I went to go see the new movie, Ma. It was pretty good. It was a very slow, like very slow, but the end picked up and it was pretty good. So right now I'm just sitting down and writing in my agenda. I use this for a ton of stuff, like it is jam packed. So I'm gonna go through and do my emails and write in my agenda. I don't necessarily recommend this agenda. I mean, I do like it, but I would just like next time around, just get a regular agenda. These planner inserts are from Cloth and Paper. They're my f absolute favorite. I was watching Friends last night. I'm having my coffee. Leo, these are your favorite bones, huh? He goes crazy crazy for these bones my room is an absolute disaster um i have to do a new haul from this is all princess polly you guys i'm so freaking obsessed with everything this is stuff you've already seen this is all stuff from pretty little thing my picture broke last night fell from up there right on my head so i need to go to michael's today and get some new things that's why i went to work out so early i'm gonna try to film today my princess polly haul just because i really want you guys to see everything like it's probably my favorite haul i've ever done and i know i say that about all of them okay it's 9 30 now i'm gonna try to get all my emails done by 10 but i also have to make some clothing selections for a few fun videos that i have planned in the near future i don't know if i like it on top do okay I? try it no i don't like it on top either Guys, the method behind the madness. One. Should we do one where it's flat and eat no egg? Because you'll see the top is so far. Mm. 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 So it is Wednesday today. I planned on filming a video today, but I had way too much like paperwork and emails and other stuff to get caught up on. There's been so much noise going on outside my house also, but I'm so over it. There's they're building a sidewalk right there and then they're building they're doing the grass too like ripping up the grass i don't know what's going on it's a mess but i 
have to go to the post office to bring you guys' packages and then I wanted to go to the mall because I did want to get a pedicure before vacation because my toes are looking like a hot mess. I try to get one once a month but I haven't been in around two months. And yeah, I wanted to check out Zara as well. And I brought this book, Daring Greatly. I was talking about it the other night to read while I'm getting a pedicure done. So that's my plan for the day. I woke up really early. I woke up at seven this morning. But yeah. Oh, the Signe Collection phone cases launch tomorrow. So by the time you're seeing this, they will be up. This is my favorite at the moment. They're just like really pretty silicone cases um, that are perfect for me because they clean really easily. They're just as sturdy, just as protective as our other cases, but we have such fun colors in the campaign. I love the campaign for this. So I'm gonna head over to Starbucks because I need some coffee if I'm going to survive. I'm gonna call the nail salon and yeah, let's get going. I just got my coffee. I got a grande. I'm not in focus right now. Grande ice caramel macchiato. I need to get my car mount back from Nolan. When I got this new car, I cleaned out my last car and he has it in his car. I just said cars too many times, so I have to get that back from him. Although it didn't really work so well. like with my last one so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to mount it in this one either but I should get it back from him so I can do car vlogs because I really like car vlogs and I don't want to you know risk my life or the life of anyone else doing so so I just wanted to check in with you guys tell you guys that I did in fact pick up my Starbucks not that you probably care but um yes this drink is amazing so it's a grande iced caramel macchiato made with almond milk. Ooh, I'm so zoomed in. Hi everyone, good morning. I know I look like a monster. Um, it is Thursday, so last night I literally just came home. My house was an absolute disaster. The dogs made quite a mess, so I cleaned up from that. I'm finally caught up on all my emails. That took me two days to get caught up on my emails. My issue is that I'll get started on one thing and then I'll be like distracted and like start something else when I really should just finish the one thing I'm doing. It's been a really good, like I've just been really in a good mood. I went through like a really rough phase, I guess, like for the past two months. Like some of you guys like reached out and like talked to me about it and I really, really, really appreciate it. Let me put you guys down. Sometimes it's hard when it's, I'm talking basically to a camera and talking to myself. Sometimes it's hard to remember that there's actually people that I'm talking to. Like I always remember, but like, is that's why when I meet you guys in person, like, I'm so happy and it just reminds me that I'm actually talking to people because, like, this can be a very lonely job. I wouldn't say that I was depressed because I certainly don't use that term lightly. I think talking to, with you guys and posting and interacting with you just, like, makes me so happy. So if you're ever having a bad day, you feel free to reach out to me. I read every single Instagram DM. I get hundreds a day, depending on how much I post. Um, I read every single one. It's hard to respond to all of them, but I do read every single one. And if one of you guys reach out to me to talk, I will 100% answer. So my Instagram uh, DMs are always open. So feel free to reach out to me because I know that just having someone to talk to is important and it really helps. And sometimes you guys, not everyone has that person to talk to. Yeah, I haven't been this happy in a while. Um, and with vacation next week, I'm so excited. I'm excited to go on vacation. Um, with Nolan because he's like my soulmate. I love him to death and he's just so fun and we're the same person and I've never gone on vacation with someone who's so similar to me. There was no workouts at Orange Theory near me this morning so I didn't work out there but I did do two workouts. I did the P90X Ab Ripper X workout which by the way when I was working out like crazy a few years ago that was the absolute best ab workout. It's very difficult but you see results right away. Um, I, I love Orange Theory, but sometimes I feel like you're not concentrated enough on a muscle group. So I'll go to Orange Theory like three to four times a week. And then I'll, the other days I will kind of do my butt or my abs. I really just do arms and shoulders and back at Orange Theory. This is the workout that I've been doing down below. It's really good. I used ankle weights today, five pound ankle weights. And five pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but ooh, it kills because the video is only 10 minutes long, but trust me, by the end, you are dying. So yeah, I'm just having breakfast now. And I got my results for 
I took a blood test because I was like worried. Like I had never taken a blood test before. Let me know down below. Have you guys ever taken blood tests? Like I never had a family doctor. I went to the doctor when I was sick and I didn't even go to like my doctor. Like I had a family doctor, but I just went to the clinic because even if you have a family doctor, it takes like a while to get in to see them, which I like. I think defeats the purpose of a family doctor. So I went to her and I was like, listen, I, I just want a blood test. I just want to know what's going on in my body because I don't even know. I don't know. I could have low whatever and, and I don't even know. When I said I wanted a blood test, she's like, why do you want a blood test? Like you're young, your blood pressure is great. And I was like, I just want to know. Like I just want to know what's going on, you know? Anyways, she was right. Everything is fine. <laughs> Thank God. Knock on wood. Everything is fine. Good. That's good news. That made me happy. I don't really like yogurt, if I'm being honest. I'm eating yogurt with blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, and like granola cereal, and I don't really like it. Alrighty, so I just finished getting ready for to film. I haven't filmed yet. It took me a while because uh, some drama happened up in here. I, what the hell am I trying to say? I have been obsessed with the Tarte Foundation Foundcealer, Foundation Concealer. I got it in the shade light medium sand I don't know why I can't speak today and then because I'm going vacation because I'm going on vacation I need to enunciate I it was gonna be too light so I went and exchanged it for medium neutral I don't know how I feel about it this top is a new one from Zara I got for vacation okay so I just finished filming um, my haul it took me way longer than I expected I said I'd be done at three i'm done at 4 30. just got my package from white fox boutique so i thought i would do a little haul i got i don't really even remember what i got did i get a dress i ordered a like a bright coral i want to say bathing suit and it fits so well that i was like i need more I got this little crop top thing Ooh, this is gonna be so cute to wear with like either high-waisted jeans or I think I got a skirt also. Yeah, this is definitely too small. This happens all the time. I just don't show you guys. I get so much stuff in the mail that doesn't fit, and I just don't show you. Oh, yeah. I thought it was so cute. Like, it's the same fabric. It's just, like, a little skirt and has, like, little frills. Now onto the fun stuff, the bathing suits. They're bathing suits I like because they're not too expensive. Oh, I got this, like, really cute just white one but i like this one because the detailing it doesn't go around your neck it kind of goes like a bra i don't like bathing suits that go around your neck i just find them so unflattering pretty dark nude i like darker nudes because it doesn't look like your skin i have a nude bikini i'm not even sure where it's from i think it's summerfield swim um but it's a like a light pink did i order these bottoms i don't think i would ever order these bottoms is there a receipt That's annoying. I'll survive. I'll survive. And then I got a pair of shoes to wear to the beach because I don't really have any cute sandals. Ooh, yeah, these are going to be cute to wear to the beach. <laughs> 